You guys remember the game about the basement? Don't go to my basement. I can't remember the name of the game, but it's a basement. Don't go. By the same creator, this game is called Crow Scare. And, uh... And I believe the character from the basement game also takes place in this game, so I really like that game, and I love these horror games, so let's try it out. The game follows a young boy, Ryo, excited for an upcoming harvest festival in his hometown. Wouldn't you know, this is going to be his first one. He was never able to go to one before, as it always started past his curfew, but soon he'll see why he was never allowed at night. That's them right there. It is Halloween month spooky. It is Halloween month spooky time, guys. Yes. I think that's all I need you to do right now. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch. Chase away all the birds and check on Haley. After that, come talk to me again to figure out what to do next. Oh yeah, and what are you gonna do, Dad? Your, da your dad is beautiful. I mean, what kind of shampoo he using? Give me some of that. I'm gonna sit here and rest. I have to save my energy for the Harvest Festival after all. Uh, come on, you can't even spare a little magic for me just this once? Sorry, yo. You know I have to save my energy. If I spent it all helping with the farm, I'd have none left for Harvest Festival. But you're my little champion. You can handle it, right? Unless... Huh? No, yeah, I'm the champion. I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. I'll do it lightning fast, faster than you can cast any spell of yours. I thought so. If you need help remembering what to do, just come back and ask me. Or, you know, you could write it down on that journal I got you. I haven't seen you use it once since I gave it to you. Why would I write it down if I have you right here? All right, all right, fair. Either way, I'll be waiting right here. Yeah, I don't think you'd be moving very far, but I'll get it done now. Mr. Scarecrows? Ha! <laughs> Good boy, I have another chore for you, so don't forget to come back to, uh, to me once you're done. Got it. All right, then. This is my sister? What's going on here? Oh, no, Haley! Have the birds been picking at your straw again? Don't worry, I'll fix you up. I don't know what this universe is, but I guess we're Scarecrows. All better. Oh, Haley, you're not very good Scarecrow, are you? What else do I have to do? I don't know, fire her. Oh, someone put that TikTok filter all over this grass. It's all orange, what the heck? Okay, let's go on down. Okay, why is this bird special? Boo! You don't scare me, kid. Well, you're an awful scarecrow. <laughs> Whoa, you can talk? Yeah, what about it? Oh, nothing. I mean, I've been, I've seen plenty of talking birds before. I just, why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? Yeah, so just, that's normal. I mean, they are scarecrows that are moving, so we can't really be that surprised about talking birds. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid, I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. What? You're looking forward to the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, why? Someone wants to ruin it for you. Worse than you can imagine. Is it the freaking person from the basement? But I think if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Oh, all right. Why are you telling me this, though? Because kids like you are the ones who need a better understanding of dangerous situations. But hell, even some adults can recognize that some birds are too big to scare. But you're just a little bird. Shut up. Keep your eye out, kid. And stay away from the forest, all right? Don't go to the forest this time. Hopefully this is the only time we'll need to speak. So be careful. You don't want to have to see me again. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? A bale of hay. I almost thought it was a treasure chest for a second, but I guess that probably doesn't make any sense. Hay does make a little more sense. Alright, I'm going this way. Oh, don't go too far. Sorry, Dad. Oh, I guess we'll go there eventually. Oh, I have to scare these birds away. I only I only tried to scare one. Go, go. Rawr. <laughs> it just disappeared. Excuse me, this is my house, not yours. Gotcha. I do say please leave, bird. <laughs> Imagine if scarecrows were like that. Ooh, well, that's all the birds. Is there anything else I have to do? I don't imagine scarecrows have any more, many more things to do. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch. Chase away all the birds and check on Haley. Then come back to me when you're all done. Got it. Biggest pumpkin. Got it. I'm gonna go. Big pumpkin. This looks like the biggest pumpkin. I think it's actually the same size as this one, but I'm still gonna pick it. A sizable pumpkin. Orange pumpkins are always the best ones. There's yellow pumpkins? <laughs> I just learned something new. Don't tell the other pumpkins I said that, though. The pumpkin's gonna freaking just with a baseball bat. What'd you say, wise guy? That's what's gonna come at late at night. Pumpkin's gonna freaking hit you. Alright, I think I got the best one. Oh. Wait. He said southeast. Wait, that is southeast. Yo, that was the biggest pumpkin. Maybe this is the biggest pumpkin. You make a great jack-o'-lantern or a great pumpkin pie. Mmm, pumpkin pie. Dude, so good. I'm telling you right now, if you've... If you've it looks nasty, but if you have not tried pumpkin pie, you need to try it. Oh, wait, I said check on Haley, right? Haley smiles warmly at you. Okay, well, screw you two. You don't freaking do anything. South 
east, right? Oh, pumpkins! More of them! Got it. Never mind. There's more. Look at you. I would have trouble lifting if you if I wasn't so strong. All right. You got a flex? You got a flex, man? A sizable pumpkin. Whoa, you're perfectly round. I bet everyone's gonna uh, be fighting over you. You look like all the biggest pumpkins. Those look like all the biggest pumpkins in this patch. Uh, do I have anything left to do? Actually, I think that's it. I should go tell dad I'm all done. This is the perfect time of year to be playing this game, huh? I just saw pumpkins at the store. Dad, I finished everything. Already? You're so fast. I knew I could count on you. What do you need me to do now? Dude. Dad, I feel like Dad's gonna betray us. That's just my senses tingling. All right, here I have packed some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. Uh, they want you to decorate the, they want to decorate the window seals with them. You know how to get there, right? Of course I do. It's the green building close to the main street entrance. They got all the yellow pumpkins in front uh, and now. That's right. You're such a smart boy, Rio. Of course I'm smart. I can take care of the whole farm by myself. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. You still get tangled in the uh, hose every now and, and again. Well, that's just because I'm small. But I'll deliver those pumpkins lickety splits. Tell the librarians I said hi. How do you go anywhere? You don't have legs. I mean, do they, do they like bounce around? Like, what do they do? Oh, that's a big bird. Those two are always up to something. There they are. Yes, yeah, this is the whole thing. Although I don't recognize the mom. Assuming it's the mom. Actually, no, that's a nurse. Oh, that's like the person that took- Okay, I think I sort of remember. It's been a little bit. Embry! Oh, hi, Rio. Uh, nice outfit. You look, uh, what's it called? Sharp. Thank you. I picked it out myself. You've got great taste, Miss Oliver. Thank you. Hello there, Rio. How is your father doing? Uh, he's good. We're preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No, we're just passing through, but since the festival's happening, we're probably gonna stay in town for a few days. Well, I see you're with your mom and, uh, Dr. D- Oh, that is- Okay, that is their mom. Where's dad at? Dad is looking for someone who can fix the cart. Uh, it broke down as soon as we entered town. But at least we all have the festival to look forward to while we wait for it to get fixed. So when does this game take place? Before or after that game? Because I can't... I just remember the ending not being great. I think. But even when there isn't a festival, you guys should stop into town more. I miss you when you aren't there. I miss you too, Ryo. Maybe one day we can travel together. Aw, oh, without us? We'd miss you too, you know. Gee, Embry, how come you get to have three parents? I'm just lucky, I guess. I'm gonna say this is before because I that, that makes more sense to me. Yeah, really lucky. Rio, did you say something? Oh no, just thinking to myself. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, because I never remember seeing the mom. The mom definitely was dead in that game. Hey, that sort of looks like it says library. No, yellow pumpkins in front. Well, there's one yellow pumpkin. Green pumpkins? Okay. All right, cool. Cool day with your colors, pumpkins. Oh, this is definitely the library. <clears throat> Thank you again, Ryo. No problem. Okay, well. Oh, here I am. The person that did this game, um, I don't know. If, I haven't played any of their other games, so if there's other characters that I'm not recognizing, uh, oh well. You could go home now, but some of your friends are in town. Don't you want to say hi first? What if I don't want to? Necro Terry? Hi, Ryo. Uh, Ryo, it's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafuma. I like your sweater. Thank you. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, Rio, we were just about to get dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. That sounds nice, but I'm running chores for Dad right now. Maybe next time. Aw, oh, can't he just do it himself? You don't have legs. What do you want to do? What do you want him to do? I want you to come eat with us. No, not during harvest festival season. Dad, uh, he, you know, Dad can't walk. I told you. Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. That's why he's always floating when you see him. Oh, so... <laughs> so he can float. All right, well... You don't really need walking when you can float, huh? I mean, I'd rather- I think I'd rather float than walk. Maybe. I don't know, I never thought about it. I thought he just did that for fun. Nope, he uses some weird levitation magic to get around something like that. But, whenever the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all of his energy to make fireworks uh, show for everyone. He doesn't move around much, so to save up much magic as possible, and that's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't gotta strain himself for nothing. Ah, uh, that makes sense, I think. But, well, still get to play together during Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course. I'm really excited. This is going to be my first one. No way, really? Don't you, like, live here? How come you never went to one before? Isn't it like a yearly thing? I remember coming here for the festival before we were friends. It is. I just, uh, I'm always in bed by sunset. Huh? That does seem a little early. I, life of a farmer. 
Or Scarecrow, you gotta be in bed early. Rise, rise early. I know, but farm work is tiring. Plus, Dad says the nighttime can be dangerous. But he's also been saying that he thinks I'm strong enough to handle any dangers at night now. So I'm really excited to be outside during the nighttime and for the Harvest Festival soon. Two. Two! It's gonna be a blast. In that case, I can't wait to see you there. Alright, can I go home now? I've ran out of social battery. I'm out. The sky looks so pretty. This game is so bright in the beginning. It's gonna be so dark. I just know it. I can't wait till I watch the entire sunset. It truly is a sight to behold. How do you know? Your eyes are closed. After the harvest festival is over, you can sit here and watch it with me every morning if you'd like. That sounds nice. Do I really have to wait until the harvest festival though? Can I just watch the whole sunset with you right now? I just think the night of the harvest festival will make it all more special. And I want your life to be full of as many special memories as possible, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. How was your trip to the town today? Did the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they loved them. He's <laughs> like, they got bombs in them. What? Oh, and you'll never guess. I saw both Embry and Necroteri today. Really now? How wonderful. Tell me all about it. Um, Embry was out with her mom and Mr. And doctor. Uh, how is her mother doing? That's funny, she asked the same thing about you. How kind. Anyway, they were passing through town, but their, their cart broke down. But while it's getting fixed, they're gonna stay in town for the festival. That's wonderful. Well, not that their cart broke, I suppose. But I'm happy you'll be able to spend time with them again. Yes, Embry's so cool. I love it when they're in town. And Ecretary? Yeah, she was out uh, with her mom too. They invited me to dinner, but I told them you needed help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would let you go with them. You're got. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna get up. It's not gonna chase them. Can't float or walk. I would have let you go with them. You're good about getting home on time. I know, but I like eating dinner with you too, Dad. Wow, that is very sweet. You're so, you're so sweet, kid. It's too bad you're probably gonna die. Um, Dad, can I ask you something? Of course. Seeing everyone out of town with their moms today. I was just wondering, are you ever gonna tell me about mom? Okay, so, all right. That's definitely not mom down there. That's definitely a sister, okay. Rio, we've discussed this before, unless they mentioned that and I forgot. You don't have a mom. I made you from straw. You're a piece of straw. Magic in a lock of my hair. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. That's why you always... That's what you always say. Do you really think I believe that? Oh, you best believe it. Everyone may call you powerful, but even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. I never, 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 ever heard of anyone bringing someone to life through magic. I mean, yeah, just watch Full Metal Alchemist, man. They don't really go that well. All right, so we're playing as Pinocchio over here. Got it. You think I can't do it? If you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. He, oh, come on, he's conserving his magic. No, thanks. One kid is enough for me. Um, is there anything else you need before the sun is finished setting? Well, I do need some mushrooms for a potion I want to make. What? Potion? But they only grow in the forest. I'll get them myself tomorrow. But Dad, what about your magic? I think you need to save energy. I'll do it. I can spare a little instead of going into the woods for an hour. I can get them for you, Dad. That way you don't have to worry about it. Oh, no, no. I don't want you to... I don't want you to. The woods are dangerous, you know. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives there. I hear she eats children. Yeah, right. I bet that evil witch people talk is all just about you. Oh, he opened his eyes. Don't make jokes like that, Ryo. Sorry, Dad, I didn't mean it. Really, don't worry about it. I can get them tomorrow, it's fine. Okay, so he don't want us to go in the freaking woods. I, I, I see that. Okay, and I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't we go inside? I'll have the other stuff for you to do tomorrow. Let's get you to bed on time. I'll see you in the morning. There's obviously a reason why Dad don't want us to go at night. He's freaking... Save saving his energy? No way. I'm really interested though. <laughs> I want to know what happens. Dad's asleep. I can totally go get the mushrooms. Dad's been saying to himself that I've grown up strong enough to handle any dangerous things at night. And you're not gonna listen. And you're gonna go get it. You're gonna go get yourself in trouble, aren't you, Pinocchio? I bet he'll be extra impressed by me if I show him that I can go eat the mushrooms on- Get, get them. Don't eat them. Go get the mushrooms on my own. <laughs> and he won't have to waste any of his magic either. The forest is right next to the house, so even if I get a little lost, I don't think it'll be too far from home. Uh, now all they need is a lantern. I know uh, a lot about night, but I I don't know a lot about night, but I do know it gets dark. Real dark, apparently. But whenever Dad needs to see something in the dark area, he takes out an old lantern to keep things light. Even he taught me how to use it. And it should be over. Ah, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get really quiet. Whoa! This is the night? It feels so weird. If it's night, then that up there must be the moon. You owls chirping. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what? 
Oh my god. Are we a freaking scared waiter crow? <laughs> uh, what is this? My hand's this red. What happened to me? Dad really, he really was telling the truth, huh? He knew that if I went out at night, I'd see that. I really am a scarecrow, but I don't understand. Dad, he always told me I was a scarecrow even when I didn't believe it, when I thought he was just kidding. Um, so going out at night somehow reveals that? Is there like a light in the scarecrow? I don't know much. I'm not a scarecrow guy. I don't know much about scarecrows. I've never owned one. I kind of do, but I don't really. And of course, I mean Clarence. So do you like put like lights in them at night? I guess that would make sense, huh? You know, let's go. Let's learn. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, because like you got these scarecrow things, but then like, see, he's got a light. Why I was never allowed to go out at night? It's weird. I feel so different and yet it still somehow feels like myself. What am I waiting around for? Then I'll go get the mushrooms. So I am my own light. I don't even need a lantern. Man, I guess we got no mirrors up in that house, huh? Oh no, the bird. The bird's trying to warn me. Don't go. Oh, I'm down here. What the heck? Hey, kid. You stupid. Hey, it's you again. What are you doing here? Ain't it past your bedtime? How'd you know? You should go back home. That witch they talk about, she ain't no joke. Oh yeah? Just go home, kid. I will. I just gotta get some mushrooms for my dad first. Better get them quickly then. Huh? What was that noise? Oh, did I, oh, I freaking got ripped. That was me, and I'm not talking about buff. I didn't even feel it. I really am just all straw, huh? How have you never known this? <laughs> You've never got cut? There's gotta be something sharp in town. What about doing all that yard work? How is he strong with the... It, it's a game. I'm sorry. I just have so many questions. But I imagine this scarecrow never took too many showers. I see, this must be why I wasn't allowed out. If this tear was any bigger, my whole leg might empty out. No, it's okay. Dad was gonna start letting me go out at night for the harvest festival anyway. So he must think I'm big enough to take care of myself. I wouldn't- I won't be scared by some little scratch. I'll, um, just shove the straw back in and cover up with some mud. Then sew it back up once I get home. Yeah, that'll work. I can handle things at night, and like this, even Dad thinks so, right? I got this, I'm a big boy. Don't wander too far. I have a feeling dad put up all these signs. Oh god, there's a lot of paths to go. Wait, what is this, a bag? An old backpack lies on the ground. Inside it's empty. The strap is broken. I guess they didn't think it was worth fixing. But you're not even going to take it back home with you? Yeah, freaking litterers. I even picked up my inside straw from my leg. Come on. The woods are dangerous. Beware the witch who lives here. They're probably dead. <laughs> Beware the witch. Don't traverse the woods alone. Watch me. Oh, another bird. Are you following me? No. Why would I do that? I don't know, man. You kind of act like you were worried about me before. You're imagining things if that's what you think. Why are you here then? I'm not. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> I feel like the dad's probably controlling that bird. A dangerous witch lives past this point. Best to turn back. And if I don't? And if I don't? Always check the floors for secrets. There's always secret trees you can go in. Something wicked this way lives. Wait, is that what? Oh, no, that is exactly what it said. I thought I was wrong. He's on the one that reads it wrong. An old pair of boots lays in the grass as if wonder as if whoever was wearing them was plucked right out. How does that happen? This like, like you just got all these red flags. Mm, boots, backpack. Okay, I saw a head over there. Nah, I think it's good. I'm a scarecrow. I don't bleed. I just bleed straw. Well, it's a bird. Looks like you found the mushrooms. Uh, it looks like you found them before I did. Uh, we could have just went looking together, you know. Can you just take your mushrooms and go home already? I am. Jeez. Got him. Uh, that wasn't too hard at all. Uh, what was that? It sounded like a tree fall. Well, I got what I needed. Uh, I guess I'll just go home then. Uh, yeah, right. Like you're going home. That tree fell right where we freaking need to go. Watch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that noise, the trunk fell. How am I going to get back home now? Now, what's this? Uh, who was that? Oh, no. You're... A little scarecrow boy, that's new. Please don't eat me. Well, you can't say you weren't warned. I, I'm nothing but straw. And he can't go back the way he came through? No path to return to in cases like these? I think a bridge will do. Ooh, hippity hoppity hoo. <laughs> there you go. Uh, are you sure you don't want to try to eat me? Oh, that's a trap. That's a trap. You should go home now. All right. Oh. I was spared? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Oh, good news. 
Turns out I don't have to go look for mushrooms today after all. When I was checking through the cabinets today, I saw some right in front. I was certain we had run out, but I suppose I was just overlooking things. Oh yeah, silly dad. You were just weren't looking hard enough. They are the mushrooms you needed too, right? Yep, I've got everything I need. See, I told you you don't have to worry about it. He knows. He knows for sure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what do you need me to do today? Wait a minute. Dude, that girl, that witch had glasses, didn't she? That's dad. That's dad 100%. That's why, that's why, you, oh, it, I told, I knew he looked too pretty. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can, I can see it coming, right? I can't help but talk. I could be wrong, uh, but I'm, most of the time I'm right. I'm perfect. I mean, it just makes sense if you connect the dots. All right, what do you want me to do today? I want you to make hay bales of the small piles of hay in the northwest uh, field. Chase away some more birds and check on Haley again. Uh, you can do that, right? Mm-hmm. And you can always ask me if you forget anything and come to talk to me after you're done, alright? South what? Southwest? Bales of hay? Straw? Something? I got it. It was really stupid what you did last night, kid. Hey, it's you again. Do you have a death wish? Are you talking about the witch? Is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't need to. She was nice to me. She helped me get back home. That's because you don't have anything she wanted. Huh? You were only a straw in fabric. No use in killing a stupid scarecrow. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Because you're just a kid. So be a good kid. And don't sneak out at night anymore. Mama bird. Boo. Get out of here. Well, that's all the birds again. Is there anything else I have to do? Check on Haley. Something about Haley looks different today. Well, all your straws in place, but... I'll see you later, Haley. What else did I have to do? Does she look a little mean? That's what his character's kind of supposed to look like, right? Oh, I think I gotta do some over here. Oh, I'm creating hay. You know, this is a little weird after my discoveries last night. I won't think about it too hard. What? Things of hay? Time to square you up. Ooh! I just I just had an epiphany. I'm not gonna say it though. I'm I know I'm so smart, guys. But I'll I'll, I'll uh I just have an epiphany. I think I know exactly what's going on around here. And it is not good. But I don't think I have to tell you that. I finished everything. Uh, wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Uh, hey, uh, Dad? Yes, son? Um, can you tell me about the witch who lives in the forest? I'm sorry. Did mentioning it the other day scare you? You don't have anything to worry about, Ryo. Even though we live quite uh, near the forest, she can't go near here or the town. Why is that? That witch, you see, she uh, isn't just a witch. She's a crow, too. That's why we have so many scarecrows, uh, don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits, including nasty old crows. Really, then how come I always gotta go chase the birds away myself? I guess that's just because you're the best scarecrow there is. Yeah, I am pretty great, but um, so there really is a witch then, who lives in the woods, and we're just, and we're sure she's evil. Well, if she's good, I wouldn't know it. I have never seen her myself, if you can believe that. Maybe she really is just an old wives' tale. Or maybe it just means any scarecrows are doing a good job. I'm just saying you've never seen them in the same room. Put on some glasses? Yeah, I guess so. You aren't worried about it, are you? No. I mean, I've never even seen her before either, so I guess everything is the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. If it's alright, I have a few extra errands for you. Of course, Dad. It's like you said, you can count on me. For starters, I'll need you to... Dad's asleep. Don't psych yourself out, Ryo. I gotta see her again. Oh my god, we're going back. Oh man, so maybe maybe things aren't as it seems. Maybe the witch is actually good. If if I'm wrong about my my theory, have to think I have to thank her for helping me uh, yesterday. And if she can't come to town, then I have to go to her. It'll be okay, just like yesterday. She found me pretty easily, so she can't live too far, right? Haley, what should I do? Wait, it looks like she's frowning. I knew she was like frowning. She looked a little a little angry. Oh my god, it's you again. It's you again. <laughs> Literally, I said that. Did I tell you to stay home? Yeah, you're not my dad. Yes, I am. <laughs> what would your dad say if he saw you doing this? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm already outside. <laughs> I just want to thank her for yesterday, that's all. If you had stayed home, you wouldn't even have an issue. Well, what about you then? It doesn't seem like you're ever home at night. Uh, whatever. You're not going to listen to me anyways, right? It's fine. Go ahead. See if I care. But don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, that's probably not the dad then. At least the crows. It's this way, right? Uh, yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. The witch knew your curiosity was gonna be piqued. Wait, what's this? I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hope you die and I hope it's all because they kill you. Uh, what's all that about? 
Fire will not burn our bridges. Fire will bring them together. Uh, no, okay, I don't know about that logic. Oh, I can't go that way. Wait. Oh, I need to light these on fire. Wait, you can't light the torches? That's clearly what the riddle means, right? Apparently not. Okay, so if I can't light them, then what do I do? Wait, why is this lit? What? A lit flame? Oh, oh, I have to light them in order? I'd never even, I didn't even notice they were being lit. Okay, got it. It's this one, this one, this one, got it. Ah, another bridge. This witch must, this witch must really love bridges. A bridge witch, a bridge. A w don't go there. <laughs> a witch? No, either of those. No, neither of those sound right. Take out one of those letters, you'll be cussing. Don't be cursing on my channel. Oh, there she is. I'm telling you, Dad got too much of a good hair. That's gotta be. I'm telling you. Oh, the little scarecrow boy from the other night. How did you get here? I followed all the signs that you said. Uh, I followed all the signs that said don't go here. A witch lives up ahead. You idiot. <laughs> Those silly little things. I never bothered to take them down. I've no idea who put those there. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose that's why I don't get many visitors. Well, except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I've never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? That's because I have something for you. What's this? A flower for me? How sweet. What is this for? For helping me get home the other day. I would have been stuck in the woods if it wasn't for you. I see. Thank you very much. Though it is quite late for a visit. Do you always come out at night? Does your mom and dad know you're here? Oh, um, my dad doesn't know. I would get in trouble if he did. And your mom? I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like one? If it's not the dad, like I think, then I do have another theory. Huh? I apologize that might sound so sudden. It's just, I've been alone here for so long. Well, I can't, I can't even remember the last time I saw another person. It's just, forgive me if I appear a bit emotional. It's just, I had a child once. Are you putting it together now? All right, so I don't think I have to tell you my other theory. But children don't stay children forever. That child grew up and left me here on my own ever since I've been, well, having a bit of empty nest syndrome, as they say. Your generosity and your kind smile, it just reminds me so much of my little one. So I wouldn't uh, mind if you wanted to come back again. Why don't you come visit me every night if you like? I could uh, make extra dinner to share and you can help me cook or read in the, my library or play in the yard. It'd be like having my little one back home again. Do you like that idea? Yeah, I really like that idea. Wonderful. Well then, let me ask you one last thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Venna, but you can call me Mom. <gasps> so, so maybe, the, yeah. So okay, I was just gonna say if it's not if it's not the dad <laughs> with his beautiful hair, uh, then it's maybe it's gotta be his mom. But why? Why are they so mad? Why don't they not? How come they got a divorce? Scarecrow's fight or what? Dad got you for me a while ago, but I never used you. It's not that I didn't want to, I just didn't have anything excited to be writing about. But now I do. The witch that people say lives in the woods, I met her. And well, she's my mom now. During, well, may, maybe I'm wrong, man. I should just shut up. I have one on my farm and spend time with Dad. But when it's night. Hi! <laughs> I sneak out of the woods and visit Mom. I really like it. I help her around the house like I do with the farm, but it doesn't feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to find. Like the first time I went there, I found... Found fingers. <laughs> well, well here, here's inside. Please forgive the mess. I'm not used to, well, any company at all. Had I known I'd be having a guess, I would have uh, tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. Reminds me of home. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Here, I'll prepare some snacks for us. Feel free to look around. You can eat, correct? Being made of straw and all? I think so. I never really tried it yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess we'll see. Make yourself at home. I've never tried it yet. That's funny. I probably shouldn't be going looking around, but here I am. It's a picture of a crow. The door is a different color from the rest. Yeah, that was my old son's room. The door broke one day and we had to replace it. Blood uh, wood gives it such a nice red color, does it not? I let you in, but I'm afraid it's locked. I lost the key myself a long time ago. Why would you lock a door from the outside? That's a little sus. There's some, uh, nothing important in here anymore, so it's not a big deal. Are oh, you lying? I... N you don't lock doors from the outside. Oh. Okay, scratches. An old bathtub. What is going on in this place? Oh, wait, here's a mirror. Maybe I can see my, my theory. 
A stout bathroom sink uh, resting in front of a dusty mirror. Both the cold and the warm water run is fine. I, I am sort of putting the thoughts together, though. You said you'd get in trouble if your dad knew you were here. Don't worry, I'm your mom, and I say it's okay. <laughs> Very funny. That's my bedroom. I'll let you look, but honestly, there isn't much to look at. Just my bed, really. That's an old storage room. I let you look inside, but I don't want you to get hurt. I have a lot of garden tools and heavy furniture. I like to clean it out before I let you in, if that's okay. You being sneaky, man. This is a bad idea. Oh, library time. Sweet. What does it say? An open book sitting atop a drawer. Reading it, it says, To read and write is a powerful tool that should be not overlooked. There is so much in words. There is power in words, but power is not all. There is sadness in words. There is joy in words. There is fear in words and comfort. There is sadness in the voice of my beloved telling me their feelings have vanished. There is a joy in the cards I received for my birthday reminding me how much my friends care for me. There is fear in the sign that tells me danger beware. And yet, I always find comfort in the yellowed pages of a book. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? I had found a big pile of haystacks sitting in front of something on the floor. I wanted to get closer, but before I could, I heard mom say, Rio, I finished preparing everything. Come sit down with me. Oh, I'll be right there. So I went to go eat with her. Well, I hope you like apples. They're in season right now, so I have... Oh my god, isn't this just like literally what happens to Snow White? Don't eat a witch's apple. This is like, come on. Have you not seen the movie? Wow, these taste delicious. Thank you, uh, mom. Sorry, I'm not used to saying that. I'm sure. I know it's certainly been a while since I heard it. It feels nice. All my friends have moms, you know, and I never thought that one day I'd get to have one of my own. I understand. I never thought I'd be able to have a child again, and yet here we are. You know, I should introduce you to dad, too. But, uh, I have to figure out a way to do it without letting him know I snuck out at night. He always told me the night could be really dangerous. But look at me now. Out at night, and totally fine. Your father is right to be concerned, you know. There are many dangerous things at night, even more so out in the woods. Really? Then why do you live here? Because I'm stronger than all of them combined. Really? You must be a super powerful witch then. You flatter me, but I don't think so. I'm strong enough to handle things that go bump in the night, but not as strong as I'd like to be. How strong do you want to be? Because, like, my dad's a pretty strong witch too. He brought me to life after all. I can see that. If you want, I can ask him how he did it. Then I can tell you, and we can you can get as strong as he is. Don't do that. That's sweet, but I think I'll be okay. I have my own plan to get strong, and it won't be too much longer before I can see it through. If you say so, I guess. <laughs> you were dumb. You were so dumb and naive. But if you change your mind later, let me know. Will do. I sat and finished the rest of the apples with her, and then I went home. She said she'd try to be more prepared in my next visit. The next time I visit her, I asked her about... Oh, wow. I thought, like, the apples were... Okay, I mean... I don't know how you poison a scarecrow, but I thought it wasn't gonna be good. Ugh, that didn't work either. I'll never be able to make this potion. Sure you can, it isn't that hard. Why don't you try again? If you're feeling confused, you can always ask me for help. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back in the library and check uh, that thingy. It's like a bolt or something? Come on, there's obviously something there. I can't do anything. A tall count of sits here. It's way too tall to reach the top. I need some assistance. I still don't get it. What uh, order do I put the ingredients in? It really isn't that complicated. You just have to remember a few simple steps. It's hemlock root before cobwebs. Cobwebs come before water lily. Hemlock roots uh, comes after brown caps. All right, I think I gotta remember this. Hemlock root is also before brimstone, and brimstone comes before uh, cobwebs and water lily. Oh, and of course, you need to put thristle in before everything else. Why would you tell me that after that? That is so confusing. See, that's not <laughs> too hard to remember, is it? Kinda. All right, so we gotta put the thistle. The thistle. Oh my God, this is so confusing. So hemlock before cobwebs, but the hemlock root comes after brown caps. So we know brown caps is gonna be probably the next one. So now we have the hemlock root. Okay, and it's hemlock root before cobwebs. So that means we gotta do cobwebs. No, wait, that wasn't it. Oh, so it stops you. Okay, so I can just guess this crap. Okay, so I was right. This soul. So brimstone then. Okay, so cobwebs, water lily. Bam, got it. Hey, I think I did it. See, I told you it was easy. I mean, you could just tell me in order, but all right. You'll be an expert potion maker in no time, just like your mother. 
Uh, you think so? I guess, uh, I made some potions with Dad in the past, but he always, uh, only let me make really specific recipes. I think he doesn't think I'm ready for the more advanced stuff yet. How silly, at this rate, you'll be an expert in no time. Come over here and now help me with these potatoes for dinner. I hope you don't mind that dinner has only been fruit and vegetables lately. It's hard getting good meat out here, and I usually try to preserve what I can for a special occasion. I don't mind, I actually like salads and stuff a lot. Oh, we gonna be eating a human? Um, Yen, I mean, Mom? Wait, um, Ven, I mean, Mom? Yes? Can I ask you something? Of course. There's a lot of scarecrows back in town. I was told that it keeps you away. But I'm a scarecrow. Do I, like, hurt you or something? No. It's true that scarecrows keep me away, but you're just one little scarecrow. And such a polite one, too, with a smile only someone as cute as you could pull off. You're nothing that I can't handle. But the amount of scarecrows in your town, my, it's just nauseating. It feels like every home must have one or two sitting outside. I can't stay around many scarecrows for so long. I'd get terribly sick. I'd collapse. I see. Don't give me that look. Like I said, I can handle a little scarecrow like you. But I want you to be able to see everyone in town too. I'm sorry, Rio, but I think it's clear they don't want people like me there. Crows? Crow crows, yes. I felt really bad about that. I'm sure the townspeople would like Mom if they got to know her. Maybe I can convince them to take all the scarecrows down. Then they'd see she's not bad at all. She even saved me from the nightmare I had. Journal, I'm not sure if I should write about it. I hear that writing things down makes you remember them better. But something happened last night. I had a nightmare, I think. I don't know what else it could have been. Even Mom said I must have been sleepwalking, but it felt so real and so scary. I can't stop thinking about it, even after she told me it wasn't real. It all started last night. I was getting ready to come back home and sleep until morning like I always do, but... It's raining. Oh my, sounds like uh, quite the heavy storm. Mama, what do I do? Scarecrows get all sloppy in the rain. Oh, see, I, I answered my question about the rain. Or water, at least. How am I going to get home? Well, I'm not sure if uh, you can in that case. You can stay here, though, if you need to. I cleaned out the storage room to remove everything dangerous, and there's an old bed in there, too. But what about my dad? I'm always in, me in bed by the morning. If he sees I'm not home, he's going to freak out. I'll get in so much trouble. Hmm, I see. How does this sound, then? Sleep here for tonight, and right before the sun rises, I'll come and wake you. Then you can run along and before your dad wakes up. Does that sound okay to you? I guess so. You promise to wake me up on time? I promise. And you'll also tuck me in? <laughs> of course. Mom took me to the storage room. It was a bit cramped, and there wasn't any windows, but there was a bed there, and it felt warm and cozy. She told me she would come back to wake me up in the morning. Then she left, and I went to bed. And then it started. <laughs> Oh shoot, my lantern, but that scream, what was that? Mom? What is this? The crate has a large crack in it. It seems like I could open it, but not with bare hands. Maybe if you had something. I'm telling you. I wanna go, I want to go to the library. I think that's, pro we're probably gonna need stuff from there. Oh no, I gotta go check. Oh, I gotta go to her room. Wait, there's a note. She found my old writing. She hid them from me, so I can't look at them anymore. She warned me not to do it again. Jokes on you, old hag. I'm already smarter than you think. What? Mom, where are you? It's really dark out, uh, but uh, at least the rain stopped. Is mom somewhere outside? That scream. I'll go look for her, but I don't think I can get around just from the moonlight alone. I need a lantern, but I broke mine. Maybe mom has something I can use. It shouldn't be uh, too bad, right? All I really need is a lantern and a lamp oil. A locked chest with a pretty golden trim. You have no idea what could be inside. Alright, so the book says the world could be the way you wish it to be if you wish it, uh, for it strongly enough. However, it never hurts to ask for a little outside help. Feed your wishes to the gods and they will feed you in return. The bathtub has been filled. Drain it? What's this? A knife? I could take it with me, I guess, but I'll need to be really careful holding it. Press space. Oh, I can use it. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. There's a trap door. Uh, there's a trap door in the floor here. I wonder where it goes. Huh, I can't get it to open though. It's locked. Oh, wait, there's a spot to input numbers. Do I know what numbers go there? No, I don't. Maybe something in the library? Oh, wait, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Why would there be a book of this? Someone has repeated a sentence over and over in this book. So yeah, if you don't know, when you download, I, I believe when you download fonts, uh, it always has that, that's always the test sentence with the font. 
I don't know why. I don't know who decided that, but it's always there. Oh, what the heck? A, B, C, D, the whole freaking alphabet. The alphabet seems to be written over and over in a variety of different ways. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to gather a note out of that, but... Oh, Grandfather Clock is missing his hands. But what time is it? There's no hands. You, there's no way to know. Answer my own question. Wait, you can run water? Hot or cold? Hot. The mirror is fogged up. Oh, 6428. Got it. I just did that on accident. Sweet. There we go. Oh, what the heck? Whose portrait is that? I just have to. I have to do it. <laughs> I want to look at the portrait real quick. What is this? The painting is so lifelike, it feels like its eyes are following you around the room. And it probably is. Which? Ooh, cauldrons. The cauldron swirls with something red. It smells terrible. Ugh, even dad's worst potions don't smell this bad. What kind of potion is this? Human? Probably. Alright, there's text on the door. Do you have the time? And put the time. I don't know the time. There was no clock. We need to find hands. Oh, what is this room? Why would you make a room like this? Ugh. There's a piece of paper on the ground. No, uh, it, no one is safe traveling in the woods. Not as long as she is there. They are all doomed the moment they set foot into the forest. I set up signs to warn them. I don't know if she knows I'm the only one who's doing it. Even with warning, it's still late for some of them. Or too late. I at least find solace in believing their ghosts will haunt her forever. See, you gotta follow these signs. Why are there blood in those? Or spaghetti sauce, one or the other. A ladder. Hmm, where can I use this? A drawer, is there something inside? Oh, a crowbar. It's kind of small though, I can use this anywhere. Good. Oh, there's a book on top of the shelf. Opening up seems more like a journal with line, uh, spaces to write in. There is writing here. Library, library, library. Mrs. B works at the library. Mrs. B is... Miss B is a librarian. Miss B teaches uh, kids how to read and how to write. I wish Miss B was my mom. Someone's probably already fell for this trick. Hey, I can use the ladder here. Yeah, I knew it. There's a lamp oil. Now I just need to find the ladder to go with it. I guess I can't reuse the ladder. Oh, the crowbar. Duh, I know where that goes. That's probably where we're going to find the hands. For the clock. What are these things? Are these clock hands? I'm two steps ahead of this game at all times. Even if you put hands on the clock, how would you know? Hey, Grandpa, I've got something for you. Because <laughs> it's a cramp. Oh my god. The clock hands magically move themselves into place. 12.05. The door unlocks. Uh, book. There's a book on the dresser. It seems to be some kind of recipe book. It reads 2,678 bones. Two six seven eight. Just in case we need this, I'm gonna take a picture. And the, and and the scarecrow won't even know. Will he even know what a bone is? Nineteen and a half gallons measures about thirteen in total. But you can always add more and drink uh, whatever is left over. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't need that. Oh, there's the lantern. Now I can use the lantern. And then I'll go look for mom outside. I have to. I have to. Oh, it's a woman's in there. Are you are you in there? Oh, what the heck? A school sits in the chair that you can't recall seeing it in the room before. That can't be a good thing. Oh no. Something about the painting seems different than before. Maybe you just couldn't see it well in the dark. Yeah, that's it. Someone's obviously haunting uh, this house. It's okay, don't freak yourself out. It's gonna be fine. Mom said herself that she was strong enough to handle anything out in the woods, so I'm sure she's okay. Let's go. I don't think we have to worry about her. Oh my god. What? Ryo? Uh, Ryo, what's wrong? Are you alright? There's... There's what? Outside there's dead someone's... Outside... D dead outside! Pardon me? She's on the tree. She's all bloody. She's not moving. And I think she was attacked. I heard a scream and I thought it was you and I got scared. So I tried to find you and then... Calm down, Ryo. Let me see. <laughs> She's like, I know nothing of this. <laughs> uh, Ryo, there's no one out there. Huh? But she... Come look. Okay. Man, you just caught her slip, and that's all. It was just like she told me. There was no one out there. It was just the forest. But how can that be? She was right here when I saw her. Is it possible you were just seeing things? 
You said you heard a scream earlier, right? I didn't hear anything all night. But I think maybe you were just sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? You probably just had a nightmare and snuck on over here in your sleep. It was probably from all the stress. You wanted to go home to your dad, didn't you? Right. I suppose it's only natural to be afraid staying here. Oh, silly me trying to be a mother again. I'm not fit to be a mom anymore, am I? No, don't say that. I love coming over and spending time with you. I think you're right. I was just having a nightmare. You know, it isn't raining anymore and the sun is supposed to rise soon. I can only take you up to the bridge, but would you like me to walk you home? Yeah, I'd really like that. Thanks, Mom. She walked me home and everything felt normal again. I went to bed, woke up, and saw Dad in the morning like normal. I guess it really was just a bad nightmare, but I never had nightmares like that ever before. Dear Journal, I'm going to visit her again tonight. I have to because I won't be able to see her tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the Harvest Festival. It technically starts at midnight tonight, but we always wait until the next night to have the actual celebration in the festival part. On Harvest Night, you're supposed to spend time with loved ones or whatever. And when you start the actual Harvest Festival on the night that follows, I think it's silly, but I don't know. Holidays are always kind of weird. I always spend the day with Dad, and now I spend the night with Mom. So I'm just glad in that way, I can still kind of celebrate with her too. Well, we're going back again on our bull crap. Hey, you're back. I haven't seen you in a while. I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Someone talks about an evil witch in the woods, and so you wanted to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? And then it turns out that it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch after all. Or maybe she was bad, and it just took the kindness of someone else to make her better. That's what I like how they're just, just debunking it all. And that's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. It doesn't work like that in the real world. Sometimes people are just evil and there's no helping it. And all the second chances in the world won't make a difference. Uh, I mean, that's actually true for some people. You keep saying this kind of stuff, but I don't understand. Ever since I met her, she'd been nice to me. He's literally telling you exactly what's about to happen to you. She helped me get back home and she cooked me dinner. She teaches me stuff. And what, what do you do for her in return? You... Uh, no good favor goes unreturned. She's going to make you pay her back for those favors one way or another. And I don't think you're ready for what will happen. I've gotten you the extent of my... I've given you the extent of my help. Whatever comes next, I hope it works out in your favor. But I don't think I could stick around to see it. Goodbye and good luck. Yo, isn't our crow supposed to be evil? If they're telling you to turn around, you better turn around. First of all, if a crow's talking at all and you know it's talking, get some help. Mom, I'm here. Sorry if I was late. Happy Harvest Night. Yay! Happy Harvest Night to you too. And no worries, you're right on time. I'm still getting dinner ready. It's almost finished though, so you can play around for a bit if you like. If it's steak, leave. Okay? Or just sit at the table. Let me know when you're ready to eat. It's gonna be meat. It's meat tonight. Oh, I probably should have walked around, but oh well. So are you excited for Harvest Festival tomorrow? It's actually going to be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are going to be there. Sounds fun. Hey, are you okay? Yes, I was just thinking. That one day I would like to be able to attend too. I'm sure we can make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes that you don't mean any harm and stuff. Yes, maybe one day. Still though, I'd like to contribute to the festival somehow, some way. So I made something for it. Oh. It's this. This vial, the liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron I saw the other night. It smelled awful. The town, there's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice? Do you think you could pour this vial in the chalice she holds? You know, just, just because. You know, no reason. It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, tonight the chalice is going to fill up with, uh, moonlight. Okay. And it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch the statue, really. It's, uh, considered very sacred, and, um, uh, if I touch it, I can get in trouble for, um, vandalism and stuff. Please, Ryo, I spend a long time on it, and it really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you would, uh, get in that much trouble, and I've done so much for you, haven't I? What do crows say? What do crows say? Can't you do this favor for me? For your mother, after all she's done for you? What would you do? Ah, uh, I want to take it. I, I probably should have saved before this. I'm going to take it. Of course I'll do it. I mean, it's just a good luck charm, right? <laughs> there shouldn't be any harm in it. Maybe I'll even bring, it'll bring us extra luck this harvest season and we'll get giant pumpkins. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Go now. You should fill it before midnight tonight. I know the results will be so wonderful. You'll be able to see them from here, I promise you. Go on then. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yo, this is bad. 
This is bad. Okay, no one's around here. All I gotta do is climb on top of the statue, pour this in, then I'll just go home like she told me. I know it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. Yo, if this is so secret, why put it in the freaking open? The statue looms above you. Somehow, her pose doesn't seem as jovial, jovial as it usually does. Mrs. Hello, Mrs. Luciana. I've got a drink for you. You climbed upon the statue and filled the chalice. It's rumbling. This things are gonna start shaking. There you go. It was a present from my mom, so I hope you like it. I'll see you again later for the harvest festival. Good morning. Huh? Is it still night time? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? Are you home? Where are you? Oh my god. Huh? What is all this? And what happened to the farm? Oh, wait a minute. The sky. Yo, isn't this how the other game looks? It was kind of like all gray and stuff. Is this what caused that? What's going on? I gotta go to town. I gotta find someone. I gotta find dad. Blood surrounds the grass near Haley's uh, face. Her face is missing. Her body appears weirdly fleshy. Haley, what happened? Ugh. Guys, I don't think this is good. <laughs> this was probably a bad idea. Guys, I think I made a mistake. It's locked, but you have the hunting feeling you don't really want to go inside anyway. This isn't my fault, right? The goddess is covered in what appears to be blood. The inscription on the plague has changed. The plaque, it reads, You have fed the goddess your wishes for the harvest season. She has delivered upon the season you wished for. The season of blood. You may har may your harvest be as plentiful as you hoped. Oh, she's in town. Rio, there you are. Oh my god. Mom, what's happening? I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? Mom ha or what? What happened? The harvest festival is happening. A grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at it all. Isn't it beautiful? An endless supply of food. An endless celebration with the finest ambrosia one could ask for. And with us running it all. I had been waiting here for so long. And time and time again, I wondered if I even made the right choice choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it that I should try someplace else. But where else would I be able to reach such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting has finally paid off, and it's all thanks to my beautiful son. The son I deserved all along. I'll be the queen of this world, and I guess that makes you my little prince then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Oh, don't look so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us, and I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. I think I did something wrong, guys. It says bad end. <laughs> Alright, so here's what happens when we don't do it. I know, I'm sorry, Mom. I can't do it. Then... You cannot be my child. Mom? Oh, she got it. She got mad. That makes sense, actually. You ain't gonna get home then. <laughs> oh. Dad? Oh. Dad? Oh my god. Rio? Was that you? Goodness, Rio. Dad? Rio, how did this happen? Your legs, they've. Dad, she's... Be quiet, Ryo. It's okay now. As for you... Oh, stay away from my son. He banished her. Man, I should have picked that ending. I got the bad end. I think back everything I said. I was dumb. <laughs> my theory was so wrong. It was insanely wrong. Dad? You, the magic it was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival? Oh, Rio, don't worry about silly fireworks. You're more important than anything like that. Rio, are you... How do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. That's good. That's good. I'm a little scared, though. What's going to happen when the sun comes back up? It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. Hey, don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you could do that. Nonsense. I'll drown this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Why would you need to do that? Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I sleep, will I be okay? Yes, you will be. I'll make sure of it. Okay, then I'll think I want to go to bed for now. Yes, that's all right. Good night, Ryo. I love you. You'll see me in the morning. I mean, there's a straw. Oh, that's a, the sun won't. Okay, so we died. Oh my god. Wait, so how do you get the third end? Wait, there was a... The key has to go here, right? 
The door's unlocked. Wait, where'd you get a key, though? All right, so apparently you get a key. Uh, I didn't, I thought there was only two endings. Hey, you're here. Oh, hey, kid. How'd you get in here? You dropped your key. You got me. This used to be my old room. This does mean you're an Ingram? Or does it mean? The person who wrote in those books. Yeah, that's me. So you were mom's son? Uh, her other son? Yeah, I feel like you're coming to this revelation over and over again. Oh, so the crow was a, pr a person, probably. Why are you here? I come by every now and again to collect some old stuff of mine. Now that I had a lot to begin with, not that I had a lot to begin with, but it's not easy to carry things as little as I am now. I see. Well, go ahead and look around, kid. I know you're curious. An old journal sits on the floor. Am I allowed to read this? Go ahead. It might even be better if you do. Winter. It hasn't snowed yet. It, this That makes me happy. It means that I can keep going into town. I used to hate going to town because of all the scarecrows. Honestly, they still freak me out. It's like they are peering into me, drilling their eyes into my very being. They know I don't belong. But despite that, they don't make me feel sick. Not at all, like they do to you. I guess that's why you make me go to town instead, huh? Nah, I even think if they did make me sick, you'd force me to go anyways. Spring. I saw Mrs. B for the first time in a while today. So... So yeah, that means the dad's also a witch and can't go to town either. She told me I got so much taller from the last time she saw me. She said she missed seeing me at the library. I was always one of the best students. I learned so quickly. She said she remembered helping me learn to write my name. She started getting a little emotional about it. I did too. Learning how to write was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, even if it comes with its own consequences at home. That reminds me. I saw a woman in town get mad at her kid today. Outside the bookstore, he was whining and screaming and making all sorts of noise. And she clearly had enough. You could see it in her face. She was mad. But she didn't hit him. Summer. She said I was late coming back from town today. I wasn't. And I brought her everything she needed, so she had no reason to get so angry. So, yeah, so she got another sucker. But this time, I understand that she doesn't need a reason to be angry. She'll lock me in the storage room all night for looking at her wrong. I'm sure she'll think it's a punishment. She thinks it's a punishment, but it's not like my room is much bigger than the storage room to begin with. She's been getting a lot easier to piss off lately, though. I'm not sure why, but it worries me. It's the only reason I'm here. Getting older, it appears now more than ever that somebody has to keep an eye on her. If only I were strong enough to do something about it. Autumn. I know what she wants to do now, and I know she's trying to make me do it. I refuse. These are people, not her playthings, and certainly not her food. And they've been more of a family to me than that she ever was. Too many times now I listened to her because I was afraid. But this is bigger than me, and I won't let her have her way. I'm not going to help her do what she wants. This is the last straw. I'm running away. I'm going into town. I'm going to tell everyone about uh, what she's planning. I'm not afraid anymore. Yo, if they just would have said, hey, don't go to the freaking the witch's house because this is what's going to happen. Where's the rest of it? What do you mean? There's no rest of it. That's all I wrote. But you talked about how you were going to run away. What happened after that? What happened? She caught me. That's what happened. And now you're a crow. That's why I'm stuck like this. She knew I would try to tell everyone, so she cursed me to stay trapped in my bird form forever. So why do you just... I mean, even though the bird did basically spell it out the bird could have been like hey i was a human like or whatever he was maybe don't go anyway i'm way too small to do anything like this it's not like a lot of people listen to the warnings of a silly little bird like me but still you told me yeah because a kid like you needed to hear it the most you idiot with me out of the picture you were exactly the kind of person she needed still i don't know if i can believe all of this mom was always so nice and she your curse. Is there any way to reverse it? Huh. <laughs> yeah, but it ain't that easy. Wait, what is it? Maybe I can help. Not unless you're an expert in sawing the arms off a grown woman. Oh, God. Huh? Only way to reverse this curse is to drink the blood of a family member. Curse this half-bird child, ungrateful is he. If he wishes to fly away, then only a bird shall he be. Drain the sap and blood from your family tree, ingest it at once, and then only you'll be free. Oh, okay. Oh, freaking the bars. <laughs>
I'll never forget it. I hate that stupid dorky rhyme. But she set it up this way, knowing that if I ever get close enough to her, she uh, she would crush me easily. Okay. Do you want to try some of my straw? It might work. Pardon me? I mean, if she's my mom and she's your mom, then that makes us brothers. And when I look like this, well... I don't know, kind of seems like every part of me is made of straw. My hair, my blood, heck, probably my bones too. So maybe if you eat some of my straw, it'll work the same way. You're joking, right? I mean, it might not work, but isn't it at least worth trying? It's just straw. The worst that can happen is that you eat some hay. All right, screw it. Give me a straw. <laughs> Come on, isn't that hard to eat? I used to eat all the leaves all the time before dad told me to stop. Oh, hey, it works. The heck? It worked! Holy heck, it did work! Come on, kid, let's get you out of here. Hey, I can't leave yet. Mom is still waiting for me uh, out there. Uh, you don't want that woman as your mom, stupid! Don't you see this? Th see that by now? Look what she did to her second. Uh, the second I said no to her. What do you think is gonna happen? Stop yelling so much. Even if, even if mom isn't that nice, I is as nice as I thought. Does that mean I can just leave? Of course you can. I'm giving you an out right now. Uh, hop out the window and we'll go back to town. Leave this old witch to rot in the woods by herself. But she's waiting for me out there. Are you he's so he's so dumb? I should have known you'd be difficult. I'm trying to save you from your fate or hell even worse. But of course you wouldn't get it. You're just a kid. Yeah, you're just a teenager. Ugh. Besides, is it trying to run away exactly how you got caught? Jeez, kid. All right, I get it. But what are you trying to? What are you gonna do then? She's gonna ask you to do something out there for her. You know, it's harvest night and she's been planning for it. If you try to refuse her. I'll figure something out. Just, just say yes and then don't do it. I'm a smart kid after all. And mom, maybe it won't be as bad as you think. Don't place your bets on it. I'll be waiting for you outside. Whatever you do, get out of that front door safely, right? I guess I should mention this comes from Alpha Beta Gamer. The only reason I'm reacting to a video is because I freaking am stupid and I forgot to save. This just saves a lot of time. But, uh, I, I mean, the only thing I missed was finding that key. But I figured if there's no commentary, there's like no difference. Okay, so, oh, so you could sabotage it. So it just gives you another option. Sure, I'll take it. Let me just... Whoops. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. I'm so sorry, Mom. It was an accident. But it isn't all bad. I'll just go back home and tell everyone to take the scarecrows down. You dropped it. I know, I know. You dropped it on purpose. Do you think I'm stupid? No, of course I don't. I just... Outrageous. All my children know how to do is disappoint me. Mom? Like that was a better plan? Huh? <laughs> I'm... Nice try. Oh. Get out of here, kid. No, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yo, you just got your body back. Don't just sit there. Go. Oh, she like foaming from the mouth? I'm going to take care of it. This was a bad idea. I don't know why. <laughs> you. Look at you doing what you know best. You could have just like dropped in town. Getting it getting in my way. You were always a disappointment to me Ingram Not a, not gonna say anything not even to your own mother uh, You can't scare me anymore. That's the real reason you curse me isn't it because you knew you couldn't scare me anymore And when I'm not scared, I'm stronger than you We'll see about that You know Ingram despite all the heartache you've caused me I'm still a parent the heck what are you doing? Get your ugly claws out of my mouth! Oh my god, what? Do I, did it make you feel better to say that? Are you happy now? It may be hard for you to see. But I am a mother. And there's nothing a mother loves more than to see her children happy. So you won't do your poor old lady some good? And smile for mommy? Oh! Dad? Yo, we just like, we totally just killed Ing <laughs> Ingram. Come on, Dad, wake up. My friend needs me. He dead. Uh, Rio, is it morning already? I could have sworn. Rio, what is this? You weren't supposed to. I know, I wasn't supposed to go out at night. And I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about that. But my friend, she's in trouble and he needs help. If we don't hurry, she might. No. Oh my God. That can't be good. I took care of it. She can't hurt anyone anymore. Whoa, did he survive? But if it's not too much to ask. I do need help. Oh. 
with a little something else. That can't be good. He got some Joker status, and that's how the Joker was born. Are you still? Are they still bleeding? Oh, it's fine. Just so, just sewed it up. It's fine. You're not even a scarecrow. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. What are you smiling about? Happy to see the fireworks? Or happy we managed to survive last night with our uh, asses still- <laughs> I said butts. Guys, I said assets. Ahaha, ah, all my friends uh, may have been moms, but none of them have a big brother like I do. Heh. <laughs> yeah, we're brothers. I don't really think I can deny that at this point. I'm sure anyone can see the family resemblance. Yeah, with the whole, you know, the... I mean, look at us. We've got the same smile, don't we? That's what I said. And they lived happy ever after. A smile to match my own. Yeah, in a freaking dark way. Like, what the heck? Well, that was an interesting uh, game. <laughs> I liked it. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Maybella Lynn. 